Hey everybody, Ray Hayden here, and this video is uh, continuing the fence removal project. And like I said, we had two different types of fences. We got the fence like we got behind me here, uh, which is a, uh, a fence that's got a, a metal mesh material across it. Most of the fencing on the inside of the property is that. And then we also have fencing around the house property, or the house field kind of thing. I've already removed the barbed wire from these posts back here, but out in the distance there, uh, there's a barbed wire fence that has three strands of barbed wire running across it. And um, I don't like barbed wire for fencing material for a million different reasons. Uh, one of which is in removing it. If you look back there in the driveway, you'll see that the big, the big pile of stuff right there in that center of the driveway is actually barbed wire all piled up because I snip it to make it manageable sizes. Um, but I want to talk about the process of removing the stuff and what it is that I do and how I do it. So I'm going to try to pause this video, turn the camera around and start recording again. But down here is the fence and what it is is the fence actually goes uh, below the ground level here. So I have to dig it out to, to go, uh, go below the um, ground level so I can snip this fence apart. All right, snip it apart and pull it away. The alternative is um, the nail is right here and I could snip it on the one side and then pull it out the other and then just have the fence come off. I can just like wherever there's a nail, snip the fence and then have one big sheet of fence. And I could do that, but um, I'm then piling up the fence in a nice convenient size stack that might fit on a trailer. So that makes things easier. But here's how I take the fence apart. This type of fence, all right? Uh, we come over here, basically I take my little hammer and I smack these boards off until they come off. And then I pile all the boards up over there, all right, on the driveway. And I'm gonna talk about the nails in, in a couple of minutes. The next step is to make sure I get rid of things like this back here. This is basically a device that holds that uh, pole up like this one here. You see this pole, it's kind of held, I don't know what this pole is for, it's a cross member of some sort, obviously. Uh, but this wire in here holds this pole up and I think that's kind of spacing or whatever for the first pole or two, because it always seems to be kind of at the ends here, you know? It's like, I guess if you get the first one right and vertical, the rest of them kind of fall in line. I don't know. I don't know how they did it back in the day. In fact, I don't know how they do it now. <laughs> so with that, <clears throat> um, so anyway, so the first thing I do is I remove these flat boards and I take them over there. Let's talk about those nails. There's going to be nails all over the place. They're going to be in these boards. There's going to be a lot of boards. That's going to be a whole lot of work for me to take a, a hammer and pry these nails out of the flat boards. So I'm not going to. What I'm gonna do is basically just use a rotary cutter and I'm gonna cut the ends off. Wherever there's a nail, I'll just cut this little end piece off. I'll cut this end piece off here. We'll bag that all up and then that can go like this one here. Now this is kind of the dangerous situation here. You know, you know, this many nails times how many boards, you know, it's crazy. There's five different nails in this board. So I'm not really gonna play around with that. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the ends of the boards off and sometimes the boards are really long and they go across a couple of different uh, of these uh, posts. Um, this one here, nope, these are all short boards, but here, this one here might be longer here, all right? And it goes across a couple of these things, so they'll have nails in the center too. And rather than prying them out, I'll just cut them off. And then basically I'll make a stack of wood that's, you know, and you see it over there, it's on the far right on the uh, cement driveway over there. And I'll just uh, cut them off and then, you know, maybe there's some good wood in there or not. And then I could like, give it away to somebody and maybe they can use it for gardening or whatever, you know, whatever they, whatever they want to use it for. If not, I'll just take it off to the dump. Now this stuff here, <clears throat> the mesh board, uh, the mesh stuff, uh, I have to dig a hole, right? I dig a hole in front of each of these fence posts so I can go below ground level and make those cuts. And then I can go ahead and start pulling the posts out. Once I get rid of all the fencing material and there's just posts, let's go over and take a look at that. Okay, it is a great spot to do that. You can see here I got the posts and I've already removed the barbed wire. The barbed wire is sitting over there on the uh, driveway. And I have these posts and I have, here's a cross member. Let's go ahead and bang this thing out. A little miniature Thor hammer here. And we'll just. All right, well, that kind of loosens him up. We'll go ahead and drop him right there. So I remember where my hammer is. And now I can start pulling out these posts along this line here. Now over here, sorry about the wind. All right, so we see we got some like, we got some new hardware here. 
this is newer barbed wire fence doesn't matter it's still going and then um, you know this seems like the technique that I would use you know wrap it around the pole keep pulling it going on like that but I wouldn't use barbed wire in the first place but there's just the three strands and the strands go through these nails here now here's some barbed wire here that's not going to slide through so I would snip this on this side here pull it through snip it through on this side or, or, or right here wherever it's loose pull it snip it and just drop it off and then I just have that one strand between each board. Now these these posts are um, a little shorter. These other posts are further apart. So these will be the longer strands that I have. Now these things here are a nice straight line, but when you cut them, they want to curl up like the big roll that they came in. And so what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them about the halfway point and kind of bungee cord them together or you know wrap them up together and stuff. And then I'll go to either end and straighten them out and kind of have one uh, big you know piece not too heavy. I want to make them. I want to keep them light That's the idea is keep it light so we don't hurt ourselves putting them into a trailer to take them off to the dump and the metal is recycled So, you know, we're not going to take any money for it. The dump just takes that stuff They allow us to dump it off for free They make money off of it and that helps the county and the community So I'm gonna let them do that with it um, The big metal gates I might do something else with rather than taking them to a dump Some of them are pretty darn big and the ones that are in good condition like this one here appears to be in pretty good condition I might just put them out here for, you know, put them out by the street out there uh, with a sign, free, free gates, if you want them. Now, the other thing about this particular gate is it has electricity coming to it. Uh, let me go around the other side of this thing for a second. And <clears throat> the problem with this one here is that this is electricity is for a, an outlet. A little dirty in there, but not too bad. I don't know where this goes. because That's a problem for me because I'm going to have to disconnect this from here. But I'm also going to have to trace it back, and it probably goes to the house somewhere, but I'm not sure where. It might go. It might also go over to the um, water pump house, and I'll have to take a look at that, and I'll have to make sure that the power to this is dead um, before I do anything with it, because I'm not going to take, you know, before I pull this post out, I can't pull this post until I rock solid guarantee I know where that thing's going to, because that Ray, Ray doesn't play with electricity, all right? So anyway, so the rest of these posts, what I'm going to do here is... Um, do the same thing, I'm gonna remove the barbed wire and then come back and remove the post. But the rest of today, me and the, uh, the Kubota tractor over there are gonna be playing on pulling these posts out. And maybe I'll set the camera up and, and do a couple of them, you know, to see how they go, whatever, so you can see a couple of them. Um, maybe not, but anyways, but that's that's the thing. There's two types, two, 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 let me switch the camera around here. There we go. Why should you be deprived of seeing my sweaty mess face here? Anyway, so uh, what I'm going to do, we got the two types of different fences. We got the kind that are, uh, they got a mesh material and a big solid board across the top. We have, I got a third kind. We have some back here behind me in this field that do not have the wooden uh, piece across the top. I don't think it needs it anyway, in all honesty. Um, and then we have the uh, barbed wire fence. And the barbed wire fence is actually the easiest one to deal with except for the barbed wire fence, which is really sharp. I'm using those welder gloves to protect my hands because they're the thickest gloves I can find anywhere. Um, and then um, with that, uh, again, the tractor is going to be pulling these things out. So maybe I will set up the camera and do that a little bit more, um, show you a couple of them in a row, um, if anybody's interested in that. And it's using a tractor and a towing strap just to lift the, uh, lift the pole out of the ground. And here's one right here that looks kind of loose. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's pretty darn loose. I have to make sure it looks like this one here broke below the ground. So unfortunately, looks like Ray Ray is going to have to dig that one out of the ground. That's unfortunate for me. So I'll have to get the uh, shovel and do that. But here's the other good thing about removing the fencing. On the ones that are the mesh style fence back here, I have to dig down below the ground level. So I make sure I get the whole fence, right? On the barbed wire fence, I don't have to do any digging. So it's a lot faster process. And that's great, but unfortunately, we don't have that much fencing that's barbed wire <laughs> like that. All right, so uh, that'll wrap it up for this one. Until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.